Beatrice Buttercup wasn't your average cupcake. Sure, she had the classic frosting swirl and a charming sprinkle smile, but Beatrice craved adventure. Every day, nestled amongst her sugary brethren in the bakery display case, she dreamt of exploring the world beyond the glass. One sunny morning, opportunity struck. Mrs. Millie, the kindly baker, was busy prepping for a children's birthday party. A tray of fluffy pancakes, golden brown and dotted with blueberries, sat cooling on the counter. Beatrice saw her chance. With a wiggle and a wobble, Beatrice launched herself from the display case. Landing with a soft plop on a nearby spatula, she surveyed the scene. The pancakes, they were her ticket to freedom. But Beatrice, despite her grand dreams, was a cupcake, not exactly known for her athletic prowess. She bounced precariously on the spatula, frosting threatening to topple. Just then, Mrs. Millie turned, startled by the clatter. Thinking fast, Beatrice rolled off the spatula and landed, splat, onto a pancake. She clung on for dear life as Mrs. Millie, muttering about clumsy fairies, transferred the pancake and Beatrice to a plate with a stack of its brethren. Beatrice, now disguised as a pancake, a slightly lumpy one admittedly, felt a thrill of fear and excitement. She was going on an adventure, even if it was covered in syrup. The pancakes were served to a gaggle of giggling children. Beatrice braced herself. A small hand reached for the stack and... Beatrice found herself being lifted, not eaten. The little girl, eyes wide with wonder, held Beatrice, pancake in tow, up to her face. Look, Mommy, she exclaimed. It's a pancake fairy. Beatrice, plastered to the pancake and covered in syrup, could only manage a sheepish sprinkle smile. Maybe, she thought, adventure wasn't all it was cracked up to be, especially when you ended up stuck to a breakfast staple. Mrs. Millie, alerted by the commotion, rushed over. She gently peeled Beatrice off the pancake, scolding her for her daring escape attempt. Beatrice, chastened but relieved, was returned to the display case. From then on, Beatrice dreamt of adventure a little less and enjoyed the quiet comfort of her cupcake compatriots a little more. After all, who needs the great unknown when you have the sweet satisfaction of being a perfectly delicious cupcake?